Hello my dear friends, I welcome you all to our channel and today we are going to do MCQs on George Bernard Shaw. He is extremely important playwright. Okay, so please focus while we are doing it and uh, as I read the options after reading the question, please try to answer by yourself. Okay, so that it will be a practice and you will be able to assess how much you have prepared till now. So, let's begin. Another sincere request to everyone, please prepare sincerely. We are trying our best to uh, give you whatever you require for your examination. Actually, different examinations. Okay, it is not only limited to one. Therefore, please, whichever examination you have chosen be focused and be dedicated towards the completion of the work okay let's begin question number one who is standing on the balcony at the play at the place opening here the name of the play is arms and the man very important play option a nicola Option B, Catherine. Option C, Rena. And option D, Loka. Here, option C is correct. That is, Raina. Here, Raina is the one who was standing on the balcony at the play's opening. In the play, Arms and the Man. Okay. Let's see the highlighters. Arms and the Man is a comedy by George Bernard Shaw. Here, comedy does not mean something which makes us laugh, okay, only. Alright, this is one of the trait of comedy uh, play, alright. Comedy means where the protagonist get married at last, okay. Where if they two are together, then it's comedy. If they depart, then it's tragedy. Or if they die, then it is tragedy, okay. The title comes from the opening words of Virgil's Aeneid in Latin Arma Virum Q Cano of Arms and the Man I Sing. Okay. The play was first produced on 21st April 1894 at the Avenue Theatre. It was published in 1898. The play takes place during the 1885 Serbo-Bulgarian War. Its heroine Raina Petkov is a young Bulgarian woman engaged to Sergius Saranov, one of the heroes of that war, whom she idolizes. On the night after the Battle of Slivinitsa, a Swiss a Swiss Mercenary soldier in the Serbian army, Captain Blanchi Bluntsley climbs in through her bedroom balcony window and threatens to shoot Rena if she gives the alarm. Question number two. What country does the play Arms and the Man takes place in? Option A, Austria. Option B, Bulgaria. Option C, Russia. And Option D, Serbia. Here, your correct option is Bulgaria. Okay. The play is set in Bulgaria. The play begins in the fall of 1885 during the Serbo-Bulgarian Serbo War. Raina, a Bulgarian woman from a wealthy family, a wealthy family learns from her mother, Catherine, that the Bulgarian cavalry have won a battle against the Serbs. Question number two, sorry, question number three. Which of the following sits on the top of Raina's chest of drawers? Option A. 
religious pamphlets option b a jewelry box option c a quilt option d a paper bag paper bag novels here your correct option is option d paper bag novels paper bag novels are the ones which sits on the top of Raina's chest of drawers or Almira's okay this is also called chest of drawers is also called Almira question number uh, sorry the highlight let's see the highlighters she selects a novel from a pile of books by her bed and opens it preparing to read herself to sleep in the first act who enters the room to deliver news to raina option a catherine option b sergius option c nicola and option d major petkov your correct option is option a catherine catherine enters the room to deliver news to Rena, and it is about the military army, military person. Sorry, Catherine is Rena's mother. Catherine is Rena's mother, and older woman, wealthy woman, is delighted at the prospect of a marriage between her. daughter and the wealthy seemingly heroic sergius act and thinks him a perfect fit for her daughter she often treats nicola unfairly and seems wrapped up in her own wealth and social status question number 5 who is sergius option a rena's husband rena's cousin option c rena's brother and option d rena's fiance here option d is correct that is rena's rena's fiance sergius is rena's fiance let's see the highlighters sergius is rena's somewhat foolish fiance keep in mind the characters okay a foolish fiance major sergius is a typical byronic hero byronic means negative hero okay according to the stage directions and everything about him seems perfectly suited to a kind of romantic ideal he is tall handsome wealthy well spoken and uh, seems to be deeply in love with raina question number 6 what supposedly heroic thing has sergius done option a led an infantry charge rescue women and children option c duel an opponent and option d led a cavalry charge so here option d is correct that is led a cavalry charge let's see the highlighters sergius leads a doomed cavalry charge and is saved only by dumb luck question number 7 who expresses dismay about the cruelty of war option a loka option b rena option c catherine and option d nicola your your correct option is option b that is rena rena is the one who expresses dismay about the cruelty of war Highlighter says Rena, a young woman from an upper class Bulgarian family, begins the play clinging to romantic delusions about both war and love. Let's move to question number eight. 
what does bluntly uses as a weapon against rena option a a blanket option b a cloak option c a mirror and option d a knife here option b is correct a cloak a cloak a cloak okay or the loose dress okay was made weapon against rena when bluntly enters let's see the highlighters he warns her against raising an alarm but she indignantly indignantly asks him why he imagines she is afraid of death he grants her that she might not fear death but that she would certainly fear being seen by a bunch of cavalry men in her nightgown and snatches her cloak from the nearby ottoman exclaiming that her cloak is better bargaining tool than his rifle let's move to question number 9 where does bluntly hide here option a is behind the curtains option b in the closet option c behind the door and option d under the bed here your answer is behind the curtains okay bluntly hid himself behind the curtains when mother arrives bulgarian soldiers arrive asking to inspect the room and uh, rena overwhelmed by a moment of compassion hides the enemy soldier behind her curtains then her mother comes okay at first these people and then mother question number 10 what nationality is bluntly option a swiss option b serbian option c russian and option d austrian so here your option is correct option is option a swiss nationality he was he belonged to swiss mercenary mercenary army serbian army and that is his nationality okay he is a swiss mercenary for the serbian army the chocolate cream soldier in the play he is regarded as chocolate cream kim chocolate cream soldier okay question number 11 what literary character does bluntly compare sergius to option a don quizot option b achilles option c aeneas and option d casanova here your option is option a is correct that is don quizot okay highlighter says don quizot's main quest in life is to revive knight errantry in a world devoid of chivalric value virtues and values he believes only what he chooses to believe and sees the world very differently from most people honest dignified proud and idealistic he wants to save the world question number 12 what is rena's nickname for bloodsley here option a the ice pudding soldier the chocolate cream soldier the sweet soldier and number d option the secret soldier correct answer is the chocolate cream soldier rena calls the man the serbian soldier a chocolate cream soldier because of his fondness for chocolates and because he carries chocolates into battle with him rather than cartridges however she gave him the name when he had given up all hope and had asked her to give the alarm to those outside that there was an enemy soldier in her room question number 
when does the play take place it option a 1985 option b 1785 option c 1885 and d 1685 correct option is 1885 let's see the highlighters arms in the man is a comedy by george bernard shaw it takes place during the 1885 serbo bulgarian war let's move to question number 14 which character does an address as granny ramsden option a option b tanner option c mendoza and option d violet your correct option is option a ramsden ramsden is a middle-aged gentleman who considers himself an intellectual intellectual pioneer and a progressive thinker though in truth he has a conservative approach to politics and social life what is the name of ramsden's sister option a lavinia option b olive option c violet and option d susan your correct option is option d susan the name of Ramsden's sister is Susan. Susan, also called Miss Ramsden, is Roebuck Ramsden's unmarried sister. She is conventional and morally rigid and therefore opposed to therefore opposed to helping Violet during her unplanned pregnancy. Question number 16. Question number 16. Who does Violet marry? Option A. Leo Jenkins. Option B. Hector Malone Jr. Option C. Roebuck Ramsden. Option D. Henry Stracker. Your correct option is Option B. Hector Malone Jr. Violet marries Hector Malon Jr. Hector Malon Sr., Violet's father in law, is an American billionaire born in Ireland and displaced by the potato famine as a child. Malon very much wants to prove himself to the world at large and to the English upper classes in particular. Let's move to question number 17. What is Henry Henry Stracker's job? Option A, mechanic. Option B, writer. Option C, driver. And option D, professor. Here, correct option is option C, driver. He is Henry Stracker's. His Henry Stracker is a driver. Let's see the highlighters. A working class driver from London, Henry Stracker speaks with a distinct Cockney accent, which is the root of his nickname, the Cockney Esk Henry. Question number 18 Who is the leader of the band of brigade, uh, brigands in Spanish mountains? Option A. Lusa. Option B. Tanner. Option C. Don Juan, option D, Mendoza. So here, correct option is Mendoza. Let's see the highlighters. The socialist anarchist revolutionary has an outside personality. He is witty, intelligent, articulate and a articulative and a hopeless romantic with an enormous crush on Henry Stracker's sister Lusa. Let's move to question number 19 now. Anne is in love with option A, Violet, option B, Octavius, option C, Tanner and option D, Mendoza. Here your option C is correct, that is Mendoza. Anne is in love with, Anne is in love with Tanner. Okay, answer is Tanner, not Mendoza, Tanner. 
Anne is the older daughter of Mr. Whitefield, who whose death is the catalyst for most of the play's action. She is based on the character of Donna Andy Uloa in the original Don Juan story and is represented by an old woman. Jack Tanner, a left-wing thinker and author of the book The Revolutionary uh, sorry, The Revolutionist's Handbook is one of the men left in charge of Anne Whitefield after her father's death. Question number 20. Where is Hector Malone and where is Hector Malone Sr. originally from? Spain, option B, America, option C, England and option D, Ireland. Here your correct option is Ireland. Senior Hector Malone is from Ireland. Question, uh, let's see the highlight is Hector Malone Sr., Violet's father-in-law is an American billionaire, born in Ireland and displaced by the potato famine as a child. Malone very much wants to prove himself to the world at large and to the English upper class, upper classes in particular. Friends, we have completed MCQs on George Bernard's Shaw for today. If you require anything and if you have any confusion regarding the MCQs and if you have suggestions, please do write on the comment section. We will be happy and we will be giving importance to your suggestions. Thank you, friends. All the best.